Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve printer driver error 0x000005b3. Operation could not be completed. Error 0x000005b3. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu. And you want to type in troubleshoot. That's match. We'll come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the printer troubleshooter and the corresponding run button. I'd recommend following through with the recommendations it makes and then follow through. It is an interactive process in terms of trying to diagnose what your issue is. So just let this run. It will ask you a couple questions as it goes. It will reset the principle or that sort of stuff. And then hopefully that would resolve the problem. Once that is done, something else you can try here too if you're still having a problem. So you would have to get permissions for this to run. And then, like I said, it would give you some suggestions to follow along with here. And then, like I said, if you're still having a problem, you can open up the search menu, type in File Explorer, best match, you'll come back with File Explorer, go ahead and open that up. Select this PC on the left panel, and then double click on your local disk where Windows is installed, so double click on that. Do the same thing now for the Windows folders, double click on that. Go down to System32, and double click on that as well should be a spool folder in here. Just click on a random folder and just start typing spool and it should get you down there a little bit quicker. So go ahead and double click on that. It should be a drivers folder right in here. Right click on that and select properties. Select the security tab and then where it says to change permissions, click edit, click the edit button. Where it says full control, check mark where it says allow. And then select apply, yes, continue, and then you should be good in here. If you go back and check out properties, it should be set to full control, select OK. And then like I said, hopefully your issue should have been resolved at that point. You may also want to consider uninstalling and reinstalling your printer as well. So if you have any software in your computer, you may want to uninstall it and then go back on to the printer manufacturer's website and then reinstall it. And then that's something else I'd recommend taking a look at. And that's about it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.